it's just way too much going on in this place for my emotions. You may be seated. Just way too much. Ah, bless you. Thank you. I love you too. All right. Thank you. I receive. Flattery will get you everywhere. On my best days, I'm a child of God. Reggie, on my worst days, I'm a child of God. You hear what I'm saying to you? What an amazing day. Uh, they both failed to tell you that Brittany has consented to become the director of our missions department here. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was just about almost a complete wreck sitting there listening to uh, my babies who God is using to like test the world as such. And to know, uh, Brother Ed, there, there are generations in line that are picking up the baton. The Bible tells us to train up a child in the way they should go. And I hope that this is just a microcosm of, Don, what we are doing for our children and our grandchildren, that they are exposed to more that. We live in the world of plenty, yet we complain so much. There are times that Dr. Didi will come to me and it's pathetic. I don't have anything to wear. Girl, if you don't get out of... I'm joining the singles on uh, Friday, April the 26th. I pray that you will join me there. <clears throat> Oh, you have to come do it. I don't know enough about it. I, I really don't know. You need your microphone. Amen. I really don't know enough about this either, but I do know this. The Stella Awards have nominated one of Tim and them songs. Well, Ain't Tim no, should have did that. So yeah, after well, 10 o'clock, he, I know, I know. I, I'll make him do it then, but I just thought about it. It's um, Ain't Nobody But God. Is that how I go? Ain't Nobody But God. But God. God. Well, come here, Demi. Come here, Demi. Come here, come oh come my come word! I'm not gonna make her sing. I just want to show her. I'm only gonna take a second. Come no, on, this, this is, is important to seconds. me. Three seconds. This is important. Four so seconds. So Demi. Five seconds. You, Six you, seconds. you, you make him, you taking it long, making it take longer. So Demi is like the one of the writers on that song, and I'm excited. Like she was the one who gave Tim. Y'all don't let Tim take all that credit. She was the one who gave him that hook. Ain't nobody but God. But God, but God, She whatever. just so happened to come up and say, ain't nobody like God, like no, God. No, 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 no. She was singing. She kept singing it. Ain't nobody but Axel. And so I said, ooh, that's a song. And so we gave it to Tim, and Tim took it and made it some whatever. But she's on it as a writer, and so her song is nominated. And if she wins, <laughs> when she wins... She will be the youngest person ever as a songwriter, so we need you all to vote. No, write that down. Vote today for on the Stella Awards. Look for that song, all right? So my baby could win. How, make, it, make it simple for them. How do they vote, sweetie? I don't know. Go to Stella Awards. Stella Awards. They we all have. know how to Google in here. And the, the Caesar Saints are learning at the Tech Talk today, right? <laughs> Show them how to go on to Stella and vote for my baby. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's get right into today's lesson then. And I'm going back into some areas because I was not capable of fulfilling those things. Thank you, media department. That's so appropriate and kind. Um... So you're going to have to tolerate some of the things you've already seen, but because of Easter and then our being away for our 40th year celebration, 
I thought she would say something about that since <laughs> she was um, talking about all these things. But so much shade, right? You can get me back at 10 o'clock when you get the mic. Here's the objective again, guys, to create a success map or plan. If I can get it on this confidence monitor, it can circumvent my looking back and keeping my back towards them. To create a success map or plan for how many partners? Yeah. To do what? Okay, Carrie, is that, is that, is that possible? Is that possible that every partner here can prosper? No, 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 just some of us. All of us, Pastor Chris? Go to the next slide, because I'm, I'm going to be rushing through a lot of this. And this is what I've noticed. I personally believe that the church has been catering far too much the, the culture to gain their attention. Come on, yeah. And too many things are being implemented in the success map and plan that God has established from culture to accomplish every partner prospering, which leads us into now having a diluted version or diluted posture concerning every partner prospering according to the word of God because we see as a body prospering differently from the scripture Amen. and most in the body of Christ have their own concept or precept or perception of prospering biblically prospering biblically is just not financial success Amen. are you hearing what I'm saying being able to drive nice and live nice and dress nice. That is so wrong. It's so much, so much to the degree that the world has picked up this ideology from the church that that's what we think prosperity is. Prosperity is having a sound mind. Believing Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Prospering is knowing where your children are at night. Prospering is that the husband likes the wife and the wife likes the husband. I can't get no help in this. And we see so many different definitions of what bond of prospering is like. And so we can't look to culture even to gain their attention. Sometimes, of course, methodologies have to change in our presentation and gaining their attention, but we're not to compromise the gospel. Can I move on a step further? Let's go to the next slide. Rather than perfecting our focus on being the church of the Lord Jesus Christ based upon Scripture. Zechariah and Ephesians, let's look at those two scriptural references, and they are all here. So he said to me, Zechariah, watch this, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by culture or power, but by my spirit. Who's speaking here? I was talking to Tim and, and uh, Pastor Tim and Didi the other day, and um, we were contemplating this, this, this thought I had concerning the scripture. And Reggie, you'll enjoy this because Jeremiah says, before you were formed in your mama's belly, I knew you. But then we see in Matthews at the end of all things when the man is standing before Jesus and he says, depart from me. You work of iniquity, I never knew you. What? 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 Before you were formed, I knew you. Now you're in front of me at the end of your life. Depart from me. I never knew you. What happened here? 
maybe the you you were supposed to be, you changed somehow through culture and you got off from the you I formed in your mama's belly. Now get away from me. Can we be so far removed from the plan of God that we lose the identity that he formed concerning our purpose in the earth? Therefore, that man's now name is blotted out the Lamb's book of life because God being a faith God. What kind of God is he? Faith. When you were born, your name was put in there because you'll never see anywhere in the scripture where your name was written in the Lamb's book of life. But we do see where it's blotted out. And when the man's name is blotted out, there's no more relationship with that man. It's eternal damnation. It's imperative that we all stick to God's plan. You can be moved away from the things of God and not even be aware that you are because culture has slipped you away or caused you to slip away. Watch this, where you're just living life based upon what seems right. The worst thing about what seems right, it can produce a level of success. And the success that it will produce will make you feel that I'm in the will of God. Oh, we outside now. Yeah, and I discovered outside of the will of God. And we're going to have to make up our minds, Pastor Teresa. We're going to have to make up our minds about whom we're going to serve and how we're going to go about doing this because there are far too many mixed messages that are sent from the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some believe in getting high and being saved. Some believe in getting drunk and being saved. Some believe, believe in partying and getting saved. We got all of these different standards, but he wanted us to be as I pause because that's a new form of communication that I just learned because sometimes when you get caught up in the cadence, you don't give people an opportunity to process what you just said. And sometimes instead of saying, uh, you know, uh, like, just pause. Let it sink in. Because could we be doing far too much screaming, hollering, jumping to arouse you in the flesh where your spirit can't absorb the truth of God's word that's capable of making you free? Can we go to Ephesians now? And they're calling, here's part of my purpose, because we're just leaving the 11 in the verse 12 here in Ephesians 4. And 12 TPT, it says, and they're calling. Who's calling? The work of the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastors and teachers. Their calling is to nurture and prepare how many? All, All the holy believers to do their work. You mean you have a work of ministry? Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, not you. You've never been called. <laughs> not the way you can conduct yourself. Have you ever been called? My question to your neighbors, how do you consider yourself called and cuss? Do you have a calling with cussing? Or is it a cussing calling? That's holiness, isn't it? Come, let's go back, Reg. Let's just go back for your own work of ministry. And as they do this, they will enlarge and build up the body. We're supposed to be body builders. Amen. How much bitterness do you embrace where you are dividing the body instead of building it? And I'm not talking about you purposely going out Sprewing this bitterness all over the place in your family. 
I'm talking about you're just separating yourself from the body. I'll never forget Pastor Terry making this remarkable statement. It has impacted my life, impacted my life forever. She said, bitterness is, watch this, unfulfilled revenge that takes you back to the place of the offense. But then we stand up, my life is not my own. <laughs> to you I be. I got it, girl. <laughs> Next slide, please. God, I wanted to finish this. Doesn't look like it. But thank God for compassion. Amen. He is a compassionate God. Amen. The more Jehovah reveals to me how dead I really am through the word, and you should be able to concur with this, the wider the gap grows, not only from the world, but from a whole lot of believers. When I'm around talking about loving people as Christ has loved me and forgiving them and going on with them after they have talked about me, after they have lied on me, after they have abused and of course, manipulated me, and I'm talking about they still have fellowship with me in my home. Christians are saying, oh, I would be done with them. The more I see the divide. And I'm like, are we reading the same Bibles? My question is, when is Christ ever done with you? We don't get along with one another, even in the body of Christ, but yet we're going to spend eternity together, Pepper. Pepper, we're going to spend eternity together. What, what street you going to live on that you're not going to see me? <laughs> Next one, please. Leadership, my role. Should what? Guide. Should what? And uh, what else? Vision. Value. What did I say? Vision, virtue, value, and victory into the what? Vacuities. Y'all got me with that. Superfluous. They got me with that superfluous. But this is empty places or spaces in the man's life. So my leadership should fill these empty areas of your lives. Or in name, same thing, empty places of your life. Joyce, I should be able to stand here by the Spirit of God and share with you from the mysteries of God's Word truths that will help you fill the voids of emptiness, of incompletion, of things that you are just curious about concerning your next move. Because a lot of these lessons, Preston, what you're going to have to realize, son, it is not for 2024. I'm getting you ready for your 2025. But now watch this, not only you to be ready, but for you to be equipped to teach what you're being taught. Amen. This world is in a big mess. But yet we are called to be the light and the salt. But if the salt loses it's flavor. Has anyone ever tried to give you any imitation salt? Man, after shaking half of the stuff out to just, you know, you just, man, I, I, I'd rather go without it. You, you throw that thing away. And then Jesus expected for you to be the salt that was going to preserve and cause flavor. Next, let's go, because I got I got to move on. Are you getting anything? Yes. Uh, next slide, please. Since we have agreed to surrender ourselves, we must, we must be replaced by who, y'all? 
Him, him who? Jesus the Christ, right? Next one, please. <clears throat> I've requested that you give yourselves to me, parenthetically, watch this, specifically the word in this season for specifically harvesting in the what? Next season. All right? <clears throat> Pastor John just did a good, good, good job in sharing with us about the seed time and harvest and being prepared. And I thank you so much for being so thorough with that because I don't believe a ministry should even request anyone to tithe without teaching them budgeting. Because you have enough money to do whatever you want to do in a whole lot of cases, but you're not being good stewards. Okay, let me move on. Seed time and harvest. Seasons are periods of time, in time. Seasons are periods to time, in time. No, seasons are periods of time, in time. Right? Something happens. Talk back to me. Time passes and something happens. You want to go to Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 2. Let's look at it. It's coming up on the next ring. I tried to make it convenient for you. But this is not to deduce that you throw away your Bibles when you come here. Come bring your Bibles. Bring your notepads. Whatever you use, apparatuses to type and keep notes. Because we're not just teaching lessons. We're building lives. Am I right about it? To everything, there is a, aren't you glad that some seasons don't last always? I said, aren't you glad that some seasons don't last always? And a time to every purpose. So there are purposes and there are seasons under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, time to plant, and a time to pluck up with that which is planted. Give me the next slide, please. Let's go on. <clears throat> Andale. Woo! Okay, be not deceived. God is not mocked. He will not allow himself to be ridiculed, nor treated with contempt, nor allow his precepts to be scornfully, scornfully set aside. For whatever man sows, this is, ooh, this and this only is what he will reap. You want to control more seasons of your life? As it relates to your harvest, control more sowing seasons. Woo! Okay, don't worry. Be happy. I was sharing something with someone the other day, and they sent me this TikTok, and it was a little boy on there singing. He says, uh, um, he, he, was, he was singing. It was, uh, don't worry. Uh, he was, every little thing going to be all right. How did he start that song? Don't you worry. Okay, because that's what I was getting confused. Because I kept hearing, be happy. He said, don't worry. Because about a thing. Every, who's singing that for me? You singing that? Who's singing that for me? Sing, girl. Yeah, again. Yeah, uh, is that Aaron, 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 uh, Aaron, Aaron Niece? Here, here, run to get Aaron Niece this hundred dollars for helping me with that song. Don't, don't, here, here, take this hundred. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing with a hundred dollars is going to be all right. Okay, so my point being, you can worry in a season and mess up a season by worrying. Watch your sowing seasons. If I worry in this season, I'm setting up myself for a harvest of worrying. But if I rejoice, even when it's a bad report, Count it all joy. I got to start, I got to start controlling the outcomes with the incomes. Yeah. 
he says here, next slide, y'all read that later. <laughs> Who you identify with will determine your position, your possession, and your perspective. When I see myself like, as he is, everything else. I don't, I don't know how. Don't ask me how. Everything's going to be all right based upon the current conditions. Don't ask me how. That's not my job. Pastor, I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't even know about some things about what this ministry will have to go through, what my life will have to go through. But what I do know, every little thing going to be all right. Believe that. Hunt your neighbor said, believe that. Believe Say, God got you. God got you. Set yourselves up to be as he is. Colossians 3, 1 through 3 in the Amplified. Let's look at it. It's all here. Mm, shout. You're a good pastor. <laughs> Therefore, yeah. No, go back. Go back. Huh? What happens, sweetie? This, where's the scripture reference? Therefore, that's it? Yeah. Uh, sweetie, would you just pay attention in class? You did your little part. Now you're trying to take over mine. She's going to get me in the car. But this 40 years, y'all. And she married me for the third time. Like if once wasn't enough, she did it twice. Third time the charm. I made up my mind when we was out in Vegas. I'm going to stay with you, girl. We're going to do the rest of our lives together. I'm talking. You better leave me alone, too. Therefore, if you have been raised with Christ, if you've been raised with Christ, if you've been, if, 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 hmm, that's the big word. Have you? Then, watch this, to this new life of sharing his resurrection from the dead, keep seeking the things that are above. That's as he is. When things hit his life here on earth, he would always look to the Father. I used to love that song when they said, I will lift up my eyes to the hill who's coming, my help, my help comes from. Woo, if you will just look up, your redemption draws nigh. God will never fail you. I right, stick with your lesson. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, set your mind and keep focused habitually on the things above, the heavenly things, not on things that are on the earth, which only, which have only temporal value. For you died to this world, and your new, watch this, your new real life is hidden in him. Next slide, please. We got to move. Okay, Colossians 2 and 6, 10 says, As you therefore have received Christ the Lord, so walk in him. How do you do that? How would he walk? I, I may not know the whole Bible, but I have some idea how he would walk. And then we should be able to become who he is, as he is, so people won't have to know the Bible. They can just know you. Oh, my God. Did you hear what I just said? Bill, is this making any sense to Tony? Is he getting any of this? That's my main man. I know he gets it. Watch this. So walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, you're being taught, abounding in it with what class? 
beware lest anyone do what? Cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the traditions and the cultures of man, according to the principles or the basic principles of this world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells, in him dwells, in him dwells. Outside of him dwells none of the fullness of the Godhead. But in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you are what, class? Who is the head of all principalities and power. Let's move on. How much time can I steal, steal? Your imagery will determine your identity. Pastor Breland, she's, she, Tim's on paternity leave. She's on real maternity leave. Tim's been traveling all over the country, you know, doing his thing out there and not showing up here for the most part and then telling us he's on paternity leave. Isn't that something? something? Okay, next slide, please. Next slide, please. From the very beginning, beginning, Satan has always, because he knew us, before we were formed, then Jesus said, depart from me, I never knew you. So Satan is after your true identity. Man, I'll be the first to admit to you, some of the things that we can encounter, the pain and the hurt, the, the abuse, the letdowns, the betrayals in life, you know, people you've trusted the most. Man, some of that stuff is after your identity. It's designed to rip you clean away from as he is. Because now you take on a posture and a position that's totally unlike how Jesus would treat you. And my question to you, they lied to you, but how many times have you lied to Jesus? Okay, that didn't go over so well. Next slide, please. So this should not come as a shock to us. Because this identity thing, this thing was on from the very beginning. Look how he tried to rob Eve. And it was the woman, of course. Go to Genesis. Next slide. <laughs> now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and said to the who men, the woman, right? Has God indeed said? You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, first of all, why was the girl talking to him? Uh, uh, nobody asked you where Adam. <laughs> see, see, that's the... <laughs> Security? Security? Every time we try to get you all to be responsible for your actions, you always want to shift the blame. Yeah, Adam was right there. And the woman said to the servant, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the God." But the fruit of the tree, which is in the middle of the garden, God said, you should not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you what? Uh, the serpent said to that woman, girl, you ain't going to die. For God already knows the day you eat it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God. He lying to the girl because the girl was already like God. You see, this this did not come as, as a shock to you about him trying to rob you of your identity because he started this trick in the garden. You're going to be like God. When the very first chapter in the 26th verse says, let me create man. And I'm going to create man and my likeness in my image. And then the moment you eat, he knows you're going to be like him. And that girl fell for it. And then she coerced the man. Just like a woman. She probably batted her eyes and twisted her hip. <laughs> I 
I can't even make up stuff. Next slide. See that? Next, please. What is so funny on that side of the room? The world is not the only ones trying to discover their identity. Somehow, the church has been pulled into the same trick bag. Where little boys don't know if they're little boys or little girls. A mix-up in sexual identity. And little girls don't know the difference. Trick bag. And we're talking about the world. But yet, we don't even really know if we're saints or sinners. And we even hear it in the songs. A saint is just a sinner. Who for, that's a lie from the pen of hell. If any man be in Christ, you are not both, people. You are not. Shout, I am not both. I am not Say, both. I'm just a saint. I'm just a saint. Period. Period. With the book closed. The book closed. On my best day. On my worst day. You don't, you, don't, you don't become a sinner on your worst day. Even if I made a sinful decision, I'm still. Hunt your neighbor, slap him high five and say, go on with your bad self. I'm just a nobody. Shut up. I'm only human. Shut up. You're not only human. You're spirit man. And that man has been given to Jesus. Next slide, please. We got to move on. Second Corinthians, that's what I was just talking about. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thusly. This is how we just, this is how we have justification and understanding that if one died for all, then all died. Y'all remember Adam. We were just talking about that woman of his. That's what he came up with, too. You know that girl you gave me? That's why scripture changed and Jesus said, why is it, whosoever findeth a wife? Because you ain't going to be able to blame me from here on out. And he died for all, that those who live shall live no longer for themselves, but for him who died, watch this, for them and did what? Didn't he get up? Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer this way. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a what? New, New creature, old things. Then it gets down to verse 20. It says, now then. Now and then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For, watch this, he made him who knew no sin, sin for us. Oh, he became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God through him or in him. Next slide, please. How much more time? Five minutes. He unplugged from unrighteousness so we could unplug from sin. Dr. D, I thought I'd throw that in for her because it's unplugged to unplug. <laughs> Jesus unplugged from his righteous state and put on sin so that we can be unplugged from sin and plugged to righteousness. Next, please. 3 and 10 of Colossians and then 12 and 14 says, and have put on the new man who is renewed how class in knowledge. Don't think you're going to live this new life without knowledge. 
That's why it's important for you to be in the word every day. Every day. If you check your TikTok time against your word time, I saw a TikTok, as a matter of fact, that says if we treated our Bibles like we treated our phones and they had someone brushing their teeth and then all of a sudden just picked up their Bible. Then they were eating their food. And while they were eating their food, all of a sudden they just picked up their Bible. Even when they were driving their car and all of a sudden they just picked up their Bible. Do you realize how many times you pick up your phone to check social media? I hope this kind of infiltrates or permeates your thinking that I got to cause the Bible, I got to create some kind of competition here. I got to get the Bible in this game. I got to give the Bible a fighting chance to compete with these proclivities that exist in my life. And I got to break myself away from this because I'm only renewed by the knowledge of God's word. And that's why a lot of people, my father in the faith, the late great Dr. Frederick K.C. Price, he just said, when you look at some Christian's life, you don't see this overcomer that the Bible talks about. Why? Because they're not being renewed. According to the image of him who created him, therefore, as the elect of God, Holy and beloved. Shout, I'm holy and beloved. Holy and beloved. Put on what? Tender mercies. I just recently had an encounter where uh, someone encountered a partner of this ministry and told that partner that they should get away from Mike and Dee Dee Freeman as fast as they can. And then that they should hurry or scurry over to their ministry. And the ministry they talked about, I I knew the pastor of that ministry. And at one point in time, that pastor of the ministry mm, wasn't too fond of Mike and Dee Dee Freeman as it relates to the gospel and being pastors. And so I made several attempts to reach out to this pastor and, hey, what can I do to fix this? Now, now, quite frankly, on a natural tip, <laughs> y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember tip on a natural tip? Where'd that come from? From the natural? You said don't do it. Just on the natural. Comparing me with him and his ministry versus ministry, it, it's, it, it was like almost the difference of light and darkness. Rolls Royce and Volkswagen. No, no, that's not to put anybody down or to put anybody up. I said on a natural tip, because we aren't to compare one another. Paul said, if you want me to get in the flesh, I can tell you some things if you want me to get in the flesh about what we're doing here. If you really want to know who I am, I got some creds that will make you just tuck your tail and run on back home to your mama's house. They'll pull out the resume. See, Red's a... No, no, Paul said, but what is boasting? So give me a break. Don't judge me without knowing the scripture. I'm just saying from the natural tip. Don, can I go? You got your pistol? Okay, all right. No. Cover me. Just tell me, get down. Okay. And I reached out to him because it's not about what I have and what they have. It's about what I put on and what I've taken off. And I said, so, you know, Let's work on this. We worked on it, but everyone that he had poisoned, 
didn't work on it. So they were left with the old information of something we fixed. See, you go around talking about people and you get stuff fixed like your husband, you and Randy, your mama's house, told your mama and all your aunties about your husband. Now y'all back together and your auntie's still looking at your husband like. <laughs> and you be like, Psh, auntie, auntie, we cool now. No, girl, ain't nobody going to ever. But his leaders didn't get the memo. And so when he encountered the member, might I add a new member of this ministry? We squashed our thing years ago because I reached out. Because as he is, I'm coming for you. You got a beef with me? I'm coming for you. I ain't going to sit back and see if it's you going to come to me because I ain't do nothing to them. And I shouldn't be the one to apologize. Sometimes you apologize when you're not even wrong for the sake of unity. You be the big person. That's putting on Christ. Hey fam, I'm Sanaya, and I want to personally thank you for tuning in to today's service. I know you had an amazing encounter with God, but guess what? It does not have to stop there. If you want to receive salvation, find a church home, or even receive Apostle Mike and Dr. Dee Dee Freeman as your pastors, feel free to scan the QR code on the screen. We would love to have you join us for one of our services in person, so you can join us at 8 a.m. at our Temple Hills location or 10 a.m. at our Brandywine in Baltimore location. And lastly, don't forget to share your takeaways because as our Apostle always says, we're teaching you so that you can teach someone else. We can't wait to see you soon, and I pray that you have an amazing week.